Right, so uh, I have this presentation and then I can get it down to 15 minutes, which is what I'm going to do here, but it also expands up to an hour. Uh, I'm just going to speed through it really, really quickly. <laughs> so the first thing is that OpenStreetMap in part started because of data like this. This is three days, and on the bottom you'll see a red thing moving along, there are black markers. So uh, we're just about to move into the second day, which I'll describe now. So that was about midnight, so about 9 o'clock in the morning these guys wake up, they start driving round, they break for lunch, which is pause there, then they drive around some more, these guys are all delivering stuff, then they go home, then they go to the pub, about midnight they go home from the pub, bing. That's London. If you aggregate this stuff together, what you get is uh, something that starts to look like a map. So that's lots of GPS traces. So when um, Skyhook Wireless, they're driving around, they also end up with all of this kind of data. Um, a, lot more, a lot better than ours, though, because ours is just people randomly driving rather than trying to drive every single road. So you can see things like the river, the parks in London. Um, you can see that uh, they mainly go where the economic activity is, north of the river. Uh, you can see where they stop around. If you look at the top right, there's some splodges where people hold GPS devices that are still. If you hold a GPS device still, it doesn't record exactly the same point all the time. It sort of does a random walk. And those are things like pubs and the other one was mosques. Pubs are a big theme in England. Right. Some quotes. It's absolutely possible for a bunch of smart guys with the technology we have today to capture street networks and potentially the major roads of the UK minor roads. And the reason I use these quotes is because it makes me not look stupid, that other people believe this stuff, right? So Ed Parsons, ex CTO of the Ordnance Survey, who now works at Google and oh, sorry, disappeared into the black hole, there's another way of putting it. If you don't make low resolution mapping data publicly available, there will be people with their cars and GPS devices driving around with their laptops. They will be cataloguing every lane and enjoying it, driving four by fours behind your farm in the dead of night. There will, if necessary, be a grass route tree mapping, Tim Berners-Lee. So the whole point, all of this OpenStreetMap exists, is because map data is owned by very big monopolies, usually government monopolies or Teleatlas and Navtech, um, who then sell that data to Google, Yahoo, Microsoft under very uh, horrible licenses. So we're Wikipedia um, as against Encyclopedia Britannica, it's OpenStreetMap as against all these big proprietary maps that you can't fix and you don't own. Last quote, you could have a community capability where you took the GPS data of people driving around and start to see, oh, there's a new road that we don't have, a new route, and so that data eventually should just come from the community with the right software infrastructure, and that's a fairly unlikely quote from Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> so OpenStreetMap exists because geodata isn't free, it isn't open, it isn't, and it isn't current. When you drive around these big vans to collect this data, they have to drive around the entire country every year, or, or more frequently, right? So if you put a new road in, it takes them a year to go and find that new road, then they have to ship that data to China for processing, then it gets put in the map, then it gets sent, sold to Yahoo, Google, Microsoft, or printed out in a map, and the, the round trip time is measured in years. Putting this in a wiki is an obvious thing to do, and it's also quite fun. But what we really do is we make beautiful maps which we then give away for free. Maps that look like this. Um, these are map tiles produced by OpenStreetMap, forgive me, they, they zoom in on London, it's where I used to live, I'm now moving here. Uh, the same format specification as Google Tiles, um, Forgive the colours, the projector's doing something a bit silly to the green, it doesn't actually look that green. You can start to see that we can do the same sort of cartography as traditional map players. All of this stuff is open source data, licensed, Creative Commons, attribution, share alike. Um, so you can do what you like with this stuff under that licence. Um, this is all people walking around with GPS devices or driving from Yahoo aerial imagery, as I'll get onto in a minute. You can see that we also go into more detail than traditional maps because you can, well I can, see the footpaths and the churches and the pubs, of course, and the train stations and all the other stuff, and all of that data is free, with a couple left. But we're not just in London, this is Berlin, um, I suggest you have a good look around the map. There's lots of really good examples of what our maps look like. Um, Berlin, Copenhagen, uh, this was mostly done by one guy who was an ex-Wi-Fi uh, scanning good dude, what, what are they called? War drivers. War drivers. <laughs> one of those dudes. Amsterdam, a firm called AND, who are the third largest map supplier behind Teleatlas and Navtech, donated the entire Netherlands to us, all of the road network under our Creative Commons license. Since we imported it into the map, uh, people in the Netherlands have been fixing it, adding all the footpaths, the cycle paths, uh, turning road classifications the correct way, fixing names, all that kind of stuff that you do anyway. And so our, da our data has diverged from theirs and got better and better and better. And even they think it's cool. Madrid, uh, there's lots of people in Spain starting off, New York, so the Census Bureau every 10 years or so releases a data set called Tiger, which is a public domain data set, road data set of the entire United States. It's not very good, but I'll come on to it in a minute. We've Im imported it and we're improving it. Our map looks better than that, forgive me, it's an old screenshot. Um, but it, so it's the entire United States, con contributed mainly by all the cities and the counties, sewn together into a big uh, mess of data that's free um, and pretty low quality, but it's better than nothing. Baghdad. Yahoo allows to derive vectors from their aerial imagery. So because we have 35,000 users and many of them have a lot of time on their hands, they sit around vectorizing that. Every single road, every single footpath, every single park. Of course, we don't have many names there because we need people, users actually, who know what these streets are called.